What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will begin to set up the AI for our police. So we will start creating the behavioral tree assets, the blackboards and the blueprint itself. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will do is right click on the content browser and create a new folder and let's call this something as AI. So inside of this folder, what we will do is just right click again, go and create another new folder and I'll just name this police. All right, so now in this folder, what we can do is begin to create our behavior trees. So let's right click, go to artificial intelligence and then you will see that we have this blackboard asset. So the first thing that we'll need to do is create one of these. So let's name this something as BD for blackboard data and then let's just put underscore and then police. So what is this blackboard asset? Well, this blackboard asset will basically contain different keys, which are like variables that we can use in order to store states. For example, if we are seeing something or whatever, like booleans, flows, whatever we want, okay? And we will use this to communicate you know, tasks between our behavior trees and blueprints and so on. So now that we have that Blackboard asset created, let's right click, go to artificial intelligence once again, and let's create the behavior tree itself. Let's name this something as BT underscore police. All right, so now let's open up this behavior tree. And the first thing that I want to make sure is that if we expand here the behavior tree details panel, we can see that the blackboard asset house, you know, automatically selected BD police. So first of all, that's what we need. And then as you can see, we have the blackboard, you know, uh, sorry, blackboard, not but the behavior tree itself, which, you know, has the graph with the root and so on. Now in this episode, we will actually not begin creating the states or anything like that for the behavior tree. We will start that in the next episode. So in this episode, we will mainly set up things, which is what we are doing. All right, so now that we have those two assets, um, let's also just open the Blackboard so you can see how it looks. As you can see, we have the keys, which imagine them as just variables, and we can create like, for example, Boolean, like is seeing player, things like that, right? And then we can go ahead and use, you know, um, let's just delete that, and, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, use those keys between tasks to, to make our flow work. So now what we need to do is create an AI controller that we will attach to our blueprint. So let's right click, go to blueprint class. In all classes, let's search for AI controller and you can see that we have it here. So let's select this, call this something as BP underscore AI underscore police, okay? So this will be the AI controller for our police. And in the AI controller blueprint, it's gonna be very simple. We're gonna to go to the event graph, delete the event tick, and on the begin play where the game starts, what we're going to do is just use this run behavior tree node. And guess what? This will basically go ahead and execute the behavior tree. So let's go ahead and select the BT police, and there we go. So whatever blueprint actor has this AI controller class assigned will basically run the behavior tree, which is what we want. So now let's go ahead and create the blueprint itself, okay, the actor, what we'll place in the level. Let's right click, go to blueprint class and create a character, okay, because it will have, as you may know, the ability to walk around, it will have a capsule collider, a mesh, and so on. So let's go ahead and select character, let's name this something as BP underscore police, and let's open this up. Alright, so let's first of all go to the mesh and just assign a scope to mesh asset just for now. For example, many simple. Let's go into the location, put minus 89 on here. There we go, and minus 90 on the rotation, so it will be correctly placed on our uh, viewport. Good, and let's also just go here and just put the ABP, um, well, let's just put an asset, okay, and let's just put the idle animation, all right? So he just has an animation running, but not a whole blueprint, just for now, until of course we got it moving, which will probably be in the next episode. All right, so now the only thing that we need to do is just assign that, you know, AI controller class that we created into the, you know, blueprint, so we can use that. So that will be under class defaults. If we search for AI, you can see that if we go a bit down, we have the pawn AI controller class, and this is what we want to replace. So if we go and open this up, we can see that we have our BP AI police 
uh, AI controller class available. So let's go ahead and select that. And then there's another thing which is quite important. As you can see in here, auto possess AI is basically set to place in world. So it will only go ahead and you know use the AI controller class, basically possess it whenever it is placed in the world. But in this case, we want to change this to placed in world or spawned because our police officers in the future will probably be spawned and if we spawn them later on and they don't work we're gonna be oh what's happening there's an error in our behavior tree but now it's just simply this little um thing that we need to change so make sure that that is and you know set as placed in world or spawned which is quite important so it will work if we spawn our police ais in the future and that's pretty much it. So right now we have everything set up for it to work. So we have our Blackboard data asset that will place all of our keys later on. Then we have the behavior tree itself with you know all of the states and logic that we will be creating and tasks. Then we have the AI controller class which will kind of manage all of the behavior tree blueprints and then of course we have the blueprint actor itself that will be available in our world and so on so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember i have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members so link in the description join my discord server to talk with me and talk the devs follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye